Hi, I'm Jackson O'Brien and I'm going to teach you how to make your coffee more better. Now, the two biggest things that are going to take your coffee from that to that are going to be that you use good quality beans and that you grind them fresh. Now, good quality beans, you already got down. You know my company's name, Bongo Java. There are all sorts of great roasters around the country, and I'm sure you can find them. Um, but the grinding them, a lot of people kind of feel that that might be optional. I'm going to tell you, no, it's not optional, and I'm going to tell you why. That's the important part. Why? So, let's consider a coffee bean. Yeah, it's a coffee bean. That is way too small. Hold on a second. Consider our model of a bean of coffee. Check it out right there. The old vein around it, all that. Now, once that coffee is roasted and exposed to air, it is under attack. Here, check it out. Your coffee is under attack. Once it's roasted, oxygen will come into it, and you'll see right around here, all that outer surface will become oxidated. Same thing that happens to iron when it rusts. And it just spoils the flavor of that oxidized portion. Good thing is that it can't really get very far, because the oxygen's really small, and the coffee is comparatively really big. This is not necessarily the scale right here. These army guys are not quite as big as oxygen molecules. But anyway, the point is, is you've got all the surface area in the middle that is still untouched and is fine and it will produce a fantastic beverage. Now, consider when you grind it. You know, working for a French press, after a few minutes, that same oxidization process is going to happen. However, you're going to be left with a lot less of usable, flavorful, delicious coffee substance. So after, you know, a day after you grind it, you're going to end up with mostly stale coffee. Grind it a little bit finer for, say, drip, and you end up with something even worse. After a few minutes, that same oxidization process happens, and you have even less tiny, tiny amount of flavor left over. Grind your coffee even finer for, say, espresso. Forget about it. It's gone. Just a few minutes and it's going to be completely stale. Incidentally, this is the same reason why if you go to a coffee shop and you order an espresso and you don't immediately hear that grinder going, then you might want to switch to a hot chocolate. So there are a whole bunch of people in my industry and a whole bunch of consumer coffee snobs out there who will tell you that the only kind of grinder that you can possibly even imagine using for your home coffee setup is going to be a big fancy burr grinder. And those are great. And those are well worth the money if you want to get into some more advanced stuff. But if you're at this point getting your coffee pre-ground, you don't want to get this. That's a great grinder. That is a fantastic grinder that also costs about as much as my first car did. What you want to do is you want to get yourself one of these. $10 blade grinder, available at the Walmart. And you're already paying 12, 15, 20 bucks a pound on your coffee. You can spring 10 bucks for a blade grinder and it's going to make it so much better. So anyway, I'm Jackson O'Brien with the Bongo Java Roasting Company. And that's one of the ways you can make your coffee more better.